Arei et Yahweh bemitzvotav. Literally, praise Yah, blessed is the man, Yare, who fears Aleph Tav, Yahweh, and and in his commandments. Blessed is the man who fears Aleph Taf Yahweh in his commandments and who delights in them. Isn't that what we're telling? Isn't that the whole message of the Miami Beach is a revival? Mm -hmm. Delight in Yeshua and his commandments. Don't give me Jesus without his commandments because that's a false Jesus. That Jesus never lived. That's right. The one who eats pigs, kills Jews, right. and got a new Israel to replace the old Israel right. because he is schizophrenic and he can't decide who he loves and who his bride is and who he's married to. That's not Yahweh. Jesus never lived. Yeshua did. Jesus is a pigment, a religious pigment of man's imagination. It's not a matter of semantics. Well, you say Yeshua, I say Jesus. It's not a matter of semantics. It's a matter of what is the real Macohen? Who is the real Macohen? Which one lived? Which one taught his father's Torah and obeyed his father's Torah? And which one has misled millions and millennia through the ages? The other one is Baruch Hashem Yahweh. All right, Tehillim 117. Tehillim 117, verse 1. Here it is. Okay, let's do the English first. <laughs> As a translator, this is one of my favorite <laughs> psalms. It takes me 30 seconds to proofread. Okay. When I get into Tehillim 119, oh man, forget about it. I'm like, Rivka, I need a break. <laughs> when I get to Tehillim 117, I'm like, oh, I wish everyone was like this. I wish everyone, because the translator's best friend. <laughs> Tehillim 117. Praise Yahweh, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. Tov. Beirit. Hallelujah. Et. Yahweh kol goyim shabhu kol ha'amin. Literally, praise Aleph Taf Yahweh, not just the Jews, kol goyim, all the goys. Who are the goyim in a latter day eschatological sense? Ephraim. All you goyim from Ephraim that have made the Shuvah and returned to Yahweh. You, you also praise Yahweh, not just Yahweh. Know that Yahweh Aleph Taf is the one that the Ruach HaKodesh is bringing your praises to. Amen. If you're really filled with the Ruach HaKodesh, you're not going to be praying to or talking to or giving honor to the Holy Ghost. You're, he's going to draw you to Yeshua, and Yeshua is going to transfer you back to the Father, and he'll allow you to taste of the Father and see things of the Father and get glimpses of the Father and then bring you back to him himself. Hallelujah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tehillim 146. I mean, right away a red flag should go up if somebody is talking to the Holy Ghost and singing to the Holy Ghost. Hold time out. Time out. What's wrong with this picture? The Talmud even said, Master Adonai, Yeshua, teach us to pray. He said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, set apart be thy name. We pray to the Father. We seal our prayer in the name of Yeshua. We don't talk, address, or by play golf with the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost ain't a he. Oh, can you believe that? He ain't a he. He's more of a she than he is a he. And we don't want to get into that tonight because it is Rosh Hodesh and I can't keep you till that. It is the power of Yahweh. It's not a third, fourth person under the carpet who brings you to the second person, who brings you to the first person, and you have polytheism revisited and repackaged in a Jewish, in a Jewish packaging. The Ruach HaKodesh is the power of Yahweh. And if you think it's, it's, th it's a third person, whatever it is, if you think the power of Yahweh is a person, you're a polytheist, period. You are a polytheist, not a monotheist. I pray to Yahweh we don't have any polytheists in the house. Tegan, it's getting quiet. It's getting quieter now than it was before. Tegan, 146, verse 1. Tehillim 146, verse 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nafshi et Yahweh. I love this. Listen. 
Uh, Psalm 146. Well, Rabbi, I don't receive that, brother. I don't receive that. And my Bible says he. And whenever it talks about the Ruach HaKodesh, it says he. Really? Really? Well, go home and look up that word in Greek. You might be surprised. Or even go look it up in Aramaic. You might be surprised. It can easily be translated it. Easily. It's interchangeable. Mm. You getting an agenda here? Mm -hmm. An alternative translation is it. Now, I'm not going to do that in my Bible because I want people to buy it. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> but you can alternately translate that as it. Where it says he, referring to the Ruach HaKodesh. Okay. Tehillim 146 verse 1. Literally means, let's read in English, Praise Yah, praise Yahweh, O my being, while I live, I praise Yah. Tov. Okay, here it goes. Hallelujah, praise Yah. Hallelujah, now that's a first person reference. Yes. I will praise, hallelujah. I will praise, nafshi, my soul, my being will praise. Aleph Taf Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Who did your being praise? Aleph Taf Yahweh. <clears throat> My being, my being, what about David's being? Did David write the Psalms or did you write the Psalms? David, David said, my being will pray. So David worshiped and praised Aleph Tav Yahweh. Isn't that what we're called to do? Worship and praise Aleph Tav Yahweh? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay. One more. One more. Let's try Yoel. Give me a page when you get there, please. Ooh, I got there quick, my goodness. Yoel, 2, 26. <clears throat> Yoel, 2, 26. Okay, 6.07. Okay. I know, 6.08. I'm not going to read it. Raina, read that for me in English, please. Do it loud so everybody can hear. 2.26? Yeah, but um, Yoel 226, yeah. Okay. Then you shall eat, eat and be satisfied, and shall praise the name of Yahweh, your Elohim, who has done with you so wondrously, and my people shall never be put to shame. Tov. Thank you. Did everybody get that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Roberto, you got that? Yes. Okay, now in the Hebrew. Ready? and you will eat achol veshuva, and return vehilaltem, and you will praise Aleph Taf Shem Yahweh, and you will return. Is that what it says? Veshavua. Mm -hmm. Read that word before. Read it again, Reina. And you will eat vehalatem. You will eat. Eat and be satisfied. That part. Mm -hmm. Continue. And shall praise the name of Yahweh your Elohim. Stop. You will eat and be satisfied and praise the name. In Hebrew, Behalal Tem Aleph Taf Shem Yahweh. You will praise Aleph Taf, the name of Yahweh. Read the rest of it. Who has done with you so wondrously, and my people shall never be put to shame. Did you get that? Our people will never be put to shame if we trust and we love the name of Yahweh Aleph Taf. Amen. We will never be put to shame. And you should say the same thing. If you're ashamed of me in this wicked and adulterous generation, I'll be ashamed of you. Blessed is he who confesses me before men. I will confess you before the Father who is in heaven. Amen. So if we're not ashamed of Elohim Aleph Taf, he won't be ashamed of us in this wicked and adulterous generation. Amen. It's everywhere, brothers and sisters. Mm. Everywhere. Rosh Chodesh Sameach from Elohim Aleph Taf. Father, we thank you Amen. for your toll toward us. Mm. We thank you for your insight into the Ivrit, the Lashon Kodesh, on this Rosh Chodesh number nine. Father, be with your people Yisroel as they go forth in their daily activity as they go forth loving and being guarded from disease and pestilence and plague and affliction in the name of Elohim Yahweh Aleph Tav. And so Father, we thank you that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now we understand where in Ibrahim 13.8 it can refer to Yeshua as the same today and yesterday. 
And we see that yesterday he was Olive Top, and today, according to Revelation 22, and in the future, he will still be Olive Top. Amen. And so, Father, now we understand that Hebrews 13, 8 tells us that Yeshua was the same yesterday, Olive Top, today, and in the future, he will always be Olive Top. Thank you for this teaching, for this little yeshiva you have given us. In Yahshua's name. Amen. They amen.
Twelve gates, twelve messengers, twelve tribes of 